Hello, I'm Ben Jones. You're watching Dukescopy TV. On the line with me today to look ahead to the US employment data released on Friday is Magnus Alverson from Swedbank. First of all, Magnus, I'd like to discuss something the Fed vice chairman stated yesterday, that they're getting closer to replacing their vow of holding rates low for a considerable time. Obviously, they're proceeding with caution, but what do you think is influencing this belief that rates may need to be changed sooner? Well, I, I'm not sure it, 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 what she me means is that rates need to, to be raised sooner. It's, it's just that the time is running out uh, to be fit into the concept of considerable time. Uh, it may be that they, they, in the back of their mind, that they always thought about Q2, Q3 uh, next year for the first time to, to raise rates. And, and then considerable time is obviously becoming more and more obsolete. Uh, so I'm not sure that they've changed their own uh, internal forecast on when, when this is going to happen. Now, we've had manufacturing PMI out at the start of this week for the US, with non-manufacturing being released later today. What influence can these two figures have on the Fed's decisions? Well, I, I, th those indicators are important. They're, they're one of the best indicators, in, in particular the one for manufacturing for uh, GDP growth. Uh, and, and they have obviously looked very good recently. They're, they're very high levels, and, and it suggests that the, the US economy is growing at, at a brisk rate. Uh, but it's not... Uh, the, on top of, of the Fed officials' minds when it comes to, to de deciding wh uh, whether to raise rates. What they are looking at mainly, is, and, and what they've been saying for a long time, is that they're looking at labor market indicators, and particularly they're looking at, I think, at uh, wage development, because wage development will be a leading indicator for inflation. Uh, so when, when employer cost uh, indicators and wage development starts picking up, then one should uh, expect that rates could, could uh, the, the policy rate could be raised uh, subsequently. And finally, the all-important unemployment rate and NFP data is out on Friday. What are you expecting from these two figures? And again, can you discuss the overall impact? Well, what we expect, I mean, we've seen GDP numbers coming very strong, both uh, in the second quarter and the third quarter. Uh, and and uh, the third quarter data was uh, revised up uh, just recently. So, so the U.S. economy is doing uh, fairly well. That suggests that uh, labor market indicators should also perform uh, quite well. We saw the, the ADP survey came out just today. It was slightly less than expected. Uh, but we expect uh, the, job, the number of jobs created in the U.S. Uh, over the last month will be, uh, well, it, it's hard to pinpoint the number. We would be thinking, you know, above 200,000, but perhaps less than 240,000. So it's, it's decent, uh, not to say pretty good uh, growth rates in, in, in employment. And again, I think this is a precursor for uh, the scarcity of labor. Uh, and when scarcity of labor becomes more pronounced, wages are going to go up, and then you, we will uh, come closer to, to the, the point in time where, where a Fed policy rate is going to be increased. We are not there yet, uh, and, and one of the reasons for that is that the participation rate is still low. So there is a uh, supply of labor yet that could hold down uh, wage pressures. Uh, so, so, so it is important, uh, but it's not... Uh, 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 utmost importance right now. At the same time, uh, when we see we get the, the uh, non-farm payroll numbers, we also get the, the unemployment number. And there, I mean, we expect it not to decrease or increase any, any significant amounts. And again, although, uh, supply, uh, although uh, an employment growth is, is brisk, we expect that uh, the participation rate will go up as well, and that will hold up uh, employment. So we, we expect unemployment rates to be more or less unchanged uh, on Friday. Magnus, thank you very much for joining me on the line today. That's all we have time for for now. Thanks for watching and make sure you keep clicking back.